Hello and welcome to another episode of Blackboard Wednesday. I am your host, Jonah. Uh, this is where we cover music theory, concepts, ideas, and other music tutorials. Uh, today's topic, we will be discussing tempo. It's just a bunch of Italian words that you see on sheet music, but we're going to go over them and some of the BPMs that correspond to them. So with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so you may have seen some tempo markings on your sheet music or a song you're trying to learn. Um, so what exactly are tempo markings? Well, tempo is just kind of the pace or the speed you're playing the notes at. A simple way of measuring it is beats per minute. So how many counts? One, two, three per minute. So 120 being kind of like the middle ground is two beats per second if you want to do it that way. Um, but there's plenty of metronome apps that you can download for free and you don't have to worry about that at all. So you can just type in 120 BPM and it'll just tap a metronome for you. So um, what are the markings? Well, from slowest to fastest, we have grave or solemn. We have largo, which means broad, which is around 30 and the 40 BPM range. So it's pretty, pretty slow. Then we get to Adagio, which is quite slow. It starts to speed up a little bit. Lento, slow, still in the slow range. Then we have Adante, which is kind of like a walking pace. So it's around 80 BPM walking pace. That's kind of like one beat per second. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's pretty casual tempo. Then we have Adantino, which is slightly faster. Moderato, which is moderate. Then we get to Allegretto, which is moderately fast. And then we finally get to Allegro, which is cheerful, which is around 120 BPM. Now we start to get into the faster range uh, with Vivashi, which is lively. So this one's going to be around 160 BPM. So it's getting quite up there. It's pretty fast. Then we have Presto, which is very fast which is around 180 BPM. And then we have Prestissimo, which is very, very fast, which is at the 200 mark. I haven't seen too many in Prestissimo, but there are pieces of that. And so, Grav is a little extreme on the slow end. But yeah, these are the most common um, tempo markings you'll see. So there's also different tempo markings that are just more descriptive, that give you a feel for the music. So one, good example would be like passionate it's not really a tempo but it's more of a, a feeling and then there's other ones that are kind of like dreamy you want to play the piece dreamy so it's not going to be a fast tempo it's going to be more floaty and just kind of airy you know that's it for tempo markings uh, at least the basic ones uh, if you have any questions you feel free to leave them in the comments below if you like my video and my content, please uh, have a like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And yeah, thank you, and I will see you next week.